Hi, I am sharing my top 10 reasons why I love Prezi video. Hello everybody, my name is Jamie, I am the J and J Loves, and on this channel I share all the things that I love because if I love it, maybe you'll love it too. And just so you know, the J Loves has five colors, and I am excited about today's video because the color blue equals technology. And if you don't know, technology is kind of my bread and butter, if you will. And so on this channel, I've been sharing a lot of things about philosophies, heaven on earth planning, just some things that I love, but actually technology is my 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 jam. <laughs> I've never said that before. I don't know why I just said that. Anyhow, so whenever you see a video with the color blue, like here, um, that means that it's going to be a technology-based video. And so, you know, if you're not into technology, you don't want to hear about it, then if you see that blue, then you'll know what that means. But hopefully, I mean, who doesn't love technology, right? And who doesn't love Prezi video? I'm not sure who, but today, that is the topic that we're talking about. And I'm doing it in reverse order. So number 10, I, oh, if you don't know who Prezi video is, it's the software that I'm using right now. These cool animations, this text here, all of this going on, this is powered by Prezi Video. And today I'm going to go with the top 10 reasons why I love Prezi Video, but stay tuned tomorrow where I'm going to actually do a quick demo and show you how easy it is for you to make your own Prezi videos and see all the other features that it has. Anyhow, moving on to our list. Okay, number 10. It is a faster than creating PowerPoint or Google Slides for a presentation. It literally is so fast, especially if you need to talk um, with it or you're going to show your face in a conference with your slides. Absolutely uh, lightning fast. Number nine, it will not break the budget. Now, because I'm in the technology field, I spent a ton, ton of money on technology. Technology is crazy. There is just so much money that is being spent, but thank goodness this is one of those that will not break the budget. Um, you can actually even start for free on um, with Prezi. Go to Prezi.com and check out their pricing page, um, but it goes from free for up to five presentations, I believe, and then the average amount is spent is about $15 a month, and then for premium and business, you can go up to $59 a month or more, but also in education, if you're in the education field, they give a huge discount. I believe you have to call or sign up with your education email address, but definitely, trust me, this is not going to break the budget, especially if it's going to save you so much time. So you always have to calculate how much time does it take you to create things, presentations, etc., videos, and how much time will it save you? Figure out your billable hour and hey, $15 or $59 even a month doesn't seem so bad. All right, moving on to number... Eight, you can use and create your Prezi videos even from a browser if you desire. It's not my favorite way, but if but you can do it. So that's kind of great because I guess if I was like for some reason on the move or just some people do not um, or can't download onto their computer, you can actually do a lot of this stuff right from a browser, which is pretty cool. Number seven, they have so many templates that you can use and that they provide. Um, or you can also create your own custom templates. And what I mean by that is see how this is colored with white and the pictures end up here and there's some little pink stuff over here and some little decorations. These are all part of templates, which again, tomorrow I will show you a quick demo of it. But you can use one of theirs that they provide or you can create your own from scratch. So number six, recording videos. That's what I'm doing right now, right? So you can make your quick presentation really quick and prezi. Again, I'll show you that tomorrow. And then just record your videos. It's amazing. Number five, after you've recorded that video, what are you going to do with it? Well, of course, you can upload it like to YouTube, which is what I'm doing. I'm actually uploading it to YouTube and Instagram. Or you don't even have to do that if you don't want to upload to um, YouTube for whatever reason. You don't have a Google account and don't want one don't want one for some reason, but Prezi actually has their own upload. So you can, and they have a ton of videos where people have made Prezi videos on different topics and educational things, just all kinds of things, and they upload it into their area where people can check it out. It's pretty neat. Number four, video conferencing. So I'm obviously doing the record feature where I am presenting, recording, I'm uploading, right? But I can do this 
in a video conference. So imagine being on a Zoom or in Teams or Google, wherever you are, and you're just like, hi guys, and you're just like clicking and just showing things across your screen. It is so cool. I love doing stuff like that. Um, just because it's so, um, it's just, it's just great. It makes it um, wonderful. Number three, you can use your own PowerPoint slides or your own images. So if you have a PowerPoint slide that you want to show, you can use those and then you can also upload your own images. And even like, let's say this was a PowerPoint, which it's not, it's a picture of it of a PowerPoint, but if I want to and I'm like giving a presentation, et cetera, I can move over to full screen like so and kind of show it, etc. Again, I'll show you more of that in the quick demo tomorrow. Number two, stock images. This is amazing. I'm telling you, wow, 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 Prezi, you know what you're doing. I've always loved Prezi. If you've ever seen the regular Prezi before Prezi video, um, you know it because you would have seen like some big presentation that zooms in, zooms out, zooms in. That's a Prezi uh, presentation, but this Prezi video, mm, just amazing, fantastic. They provide stock images that you can use. In fact, a lot of the images that I use, you know, are from their stock images. Like the other day I made a video on pho. I typed in pho. Oh my gosh, there were so many stock images. I use some of my own too, but it's amazing. They let you use them and it's just, that's just absolutely brilliant. Definitely my number two. And my number one reason why I love Prezi video is it's fun and interesting. Look at that crowd. Look how excited they are about my video. No, <laughs> no but seriously, our brains, okay, they need to be excited. We want to be excited. We want to, to not know what's happening. And when we are in these long presentations, in these long meetings, blah, 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 like, oh, PowerPoint after PowerPoint. I love PowerPoint. Don't get me wrong. Trust me. I'm Microsoft fangirl for life. But this works within teams as well but prezi video d fantastic job you never know what's coming at you um and you just got to keep things fun and interesting and engaging because the more happy and joyful we are while we're learning the more we soak in and actually retain the information so it's really important and so that's all. I hope you enjoyed today's video on the top 10 reasons why I love Prezi video. Um, again, come back tomorrow. I'll do a quick demo on just how easy it works. I love you guys. I hope you're having a great day. Please, if you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe. Give me a comment. Click the like button. Share. Um, you know, connect with me. I would love to hear it. Um, or if you're on Instagram or Facebook, do the same thing. Like, share, comment, and let's connect. Love you guys. Have a great day.